Here we have a document with two links on it. One is an input and the other is an output. Placing a link object on a socket makes it visible outside the current document. Let's save it to commit the changes to file. Over here we have a schematic with a device on it and we'll connect to our first document. When you connect from an output to a link, you begin the connection in the normal way and then press 5. This opens a file selector in your current folder so you can choose the file containing the link you need to connect to. Having selected the file, you then pick the link, click OK and the connection is made. Now let's see how to connect from a link. We take the connect tool again and shift click in the drawing at the point where we want to begin. Again we choose the file and the link. Notice how we see a little icon, showing that one of our links has already been used. Once we've picked the link, we can then connect to our destination socket in the normal way. Let's save the file now to commit the change. Our users liked links, but they had a problem. Until now, links didn't know where they were connected, and that made drawings hard to interpret. Right now, we see nothing different. But if we use the refresh links command, each link gets an annotation showing where it is connected. Link annotations are in a separate Vectorworks class, so it's easy to show, hide and style them to meet your needs. We've also addressed another issue in 2016. We are storing file locations as relative paths. This means you can send an entire project to someone else without breaking links. And if you do need to restructure a project, we have a rebuild links command to help you put things back together. ConnectCat has a unique philosophy that drawings should be the master source of information, and we've made communications between documents possible without breaking our own rules.